Hey, this is Sonny James here with Serato in Los Angeles, California. In this video, we'll be covering how best to use loops and your mixes. Loops can either be triggered on screen or from a device that has loop buttons. First, let's talk about manual loops. Manual loops can be set with beginning and end points. This is great for punching in and out of loops on the fly for an on-hand organic feel for performing. To do this, using your computer keyboard, scrub the playhead to your starting position and for your left deck, press the O key. Once you decide where you'd like the loop to end, press the P key and your loop is set. If you'd like to disengage the loop or engage it once again, press the open bracket next to the P key. For the right deck, you can press the L, semicolon, and apostrophe keys. Since I'm connected to the RAIN 1, there's a dedicated loop section, which is here next to the performance pads. And in that section, there are in and out buttons for manual loops. When I press shift plus in, that will be the beginning of the manual loop. And when I want to complete the loop, I'll press shift plus out. If I want to make fine tune adjustments to either the in or the out, I'll press it again. In this case, I'll press shift and in. Then I can use the platter to fine tune the adjustments. And when I'm finished, I'll press shift and in again. Now that I have that there, I can go to the loop section and I can double click on the time and name it whatever I want. I'll just name this one loop one and it's all saved. Here on the rain one, there's a dedicated pad mode for my saved loops. Loops that are active will be blue. If I want to deactivate an active loop, I'll press the blue one to turn it off. If we want to turn it back on, simply press it and it'll turn back on and become blue again. I can also activate or deactivate manual loops in save loop mode by pressing the pad with the corresponding loop. If you want to re-loop the save loop once you have it disengaged, you can do this by pressing shift plus auto loop. Auto loops are commonly used and are created automatically based on beat grids. In Serato DJ Pro, auto loops can range between 1 32nd of a beat and up to 32 beats. Automatic loops can be activated and deactivated either on the controller or on the computer keyboard. So here on the Rain 1, I have auto loop which defaults to four counts or one bar. If I'd like to change it quickly using the device, I can press the half button to chop my loop in half or the times two button to double it. Once you're ready for the loop to stop, simply press auto loop again and it will disengage. Auto loops work best when the tracks are beat gridded correctly. The auto loops will activate on the grid and on the beat. And when adjustments are made to the beat size of the auto loop, they'll also land in time on the grid. Auto loops can also be activated on the screen and saved by pressing the plus symbol in the cue point tab or the manual loop tab. Once the loop is saved, you can double click the loop start time and name the loop as desired. So that's the basics of how to use loops in Serato DJ Pro. Practice different methods for looping so you can easily use this feature on the fly while you're mixing at home, on the radio, or in the club. You'll find it really helps create smoother transitions for you overall. For more information, be sure to visit serato.com.